Welcome to this week's episode of Kidlet 6. Each week we get to spend six minutes together talking about books, connecting with authors, and celebrating book birthdays. As a reminder, if any of these books sound interesting to you, you can look down in the comments below to get all the information on these books and how to connect with the authors of these books. And now it's time for another great episode of Kidlet 6. Whether your dog dreams about books they might read, or whether they watch episodes of Kidlet 6 to find some suggestions, here's a few dog books you and your favorite dog might like. Hi, my name is Colleen Nelson and I am the author of Harvey Takes the Lead, which I have up on my computer because I don't actually have a copy of the book yet. It comes out in May. It's the third in the Harvey stories about a little West Highland Terrier who always seems to get himself into some trouble. But Julie said if I talked quickly about my book, then I could give you two selections that I think you should read. So the first one is called Living with Viola, and it is by Rosanna Fung. It's her debut middle grade graphic novel, and it's about a girl who struggles with anxiety. And the anxiety, she actually calls her Viola. So you see how she has to kind of battle through how she's going to survive middle school with this anxiety. Um, but it's such a great book. It's so uh, relevant for right now. I'm a teacher and I know that a lot of kids are struggling with things involving anxiety. Um, the other book that I just finished is called The Grave Thief and it is by D. Han. It's also a debut and it's fantastic. It's such a fast-paced adventure. The two main characters um, try to rid their kingdom of this monster. But the fun sort of twist is that the main character, Spade, is a grave thief. And that's how we meet him. So those are my two selections for you. I hope you enjoy them. And I also hope you check out my new book, Harvey Takes the This week's Kid Let Six book of the week is The Mutant Mushroom Takeover by Summer Rachel Short. Ever since her dad left for a job, Maggie's been stuck in her grandma's mobile home with her grumpy older brother, Ezra. So now she's on a mission to win a Junior Naturalist Award. When Maggie and her best friend, Nate, discover a bioluminescent fungus, Maggie's sure she's going to win the award. And then they realize that the animals in town are sprouting some unusual growths, and her brother, Ezra, has a bluish glow to him and a terrible cough. Will Nate and Maggie be able to figure out what's going on and get things back in order? If you are a reader who likes science fiction, books with a mystery, or books with a story about friendship, you're going to love this book. And as a bonus, if you like it, you can grab the sequel, Attack of the Killer Komodos. The day a book first comes out is called its publication date but it can also be called its book birthday. And since that's a lot more fun, we're going to go with that. So let's get ready to celebrate a few of this week's book birthdays. First up is Sir Fig Newton and the Science of Persistence. This is the story of a young girl who is absolutely determined to save her cat from the silent cat killer disease, diabetes. She has to set out to earn money and find a way to save her cat. Next up is Alias Anna. This is a non-fiction biography in verse of a young girl who is trying to escape from the Nazis during World War II. Next up is Louisa June and the Nazis in the Ways. Shortly after the attack on Pearl Harbor, German U-boat submarines begin to torpedo American ships off the coast of America in the Atlantic Ocean. This tragedy hits close to home for Louisa June and her family, and she begins to wonder how she can, as a kid, fight back against these German U-boats and the Nazis. The best way to celebrate a book's birthday is by reading the book. So head to your local library or independent bookstore and pick up your copy of these books today.
No matter how hard I pushed, I couldn't get the heavy dresser to budge. Do you think you can create your own sentence using the word budge? Try creating your own sentence and then sharing with us on social media at Kidlet6. Thank you for watching this week's episode of Kidlet6. We love to hear what you're reading and you can comment below with what you're reading right now or send us an email. Have a great week and happy reading.